Who might say they're equal? Is that Brandon? Why did you say it's equal? Because you just duplicated it. They're the exact same size. They're not in the same place, but what's the same about them? They have the same property. Like what kind of properties? Just name a few. Size, length, width. Okay, length, color. width. Okay, color. Uh, let's um, let's ask this then. Volume. Are they still, would you say they're still equal even if they don't have the same color? Yeah. yeah. Mathematically speaking. Okay, so yeah, they're still equal as far as things you can measure. What was that you said, Brandon? Volume. Volume. Does a, does a rectangle have a volume? I mean, not volume. Area. Area, so like a two-dimensional volume, which we call it area, okay? So the same number of squares could fit in here as fit in here, okay? Uh, so you say they're equal except for just equal is a good word, but it's just not the, exactly the right word. Anybody know what the word for two figures that have all of the same length, width, area, and all that stuff? Not equivalent, good word, just not the word that has uh, been selected throughout history. Starts with a C. Congruent. Yeah, congruent. So two shapes that are exactly the same, I'm gonna write that down. Congruent. Like we would use uh, equal or equivalent, uh, everything about them is the same. It's about if I took this shape, copied it, but after I copied it, I shrank it down. Are you getting farther away, or what's that now? Are you getting farther away, or are you just shrinking it from the same distance? Yes, yeah, it's like they're both just right here, the same distance, right there, right up on the board. I am just making it smaller. So if I made that exact rectangle just smaller, and I say this long side here is 3, can you tell me how long the short side is? 2.5. How did you figure that out? Take, like, take me through every step. Okay, well, 6, it went down by 3, and then 5. Well, that's one less, like 6 and 5. There, 6 is one more, and then... That's three, so I just did two, and you can't equal five, so two point five. How are you trying to equal five? Three equals three. Three equals what? Five, five, two. Okay, so you're saying oh, you notice that. Three plus three is six. If you multiply yeah. or, or add, yeah. three by two. Yeah. So that is, do you think that's it? Is that the relationship between similar figures that they just, like this? Yeah is so many times as big as this figure, okay? So you're not say, you, you wouldn't say like, oh, that's one inch less than that. So if this is three inches, that should be two inches? Yeah. Yes or no, it's yes. two? Wait, 2.5. No. Okay, 2.5, yeah. right. So it's not like the rule is uh, take one inch off this side, take one inch off this side. That's not the way that works, is it? It's, it's scaled down. Yeah. The scale is, this is, how much bigger than this? How much bigger is this than this? Twice as big. Twice as big, okay. So we've got this scale, the scale is a two to one. So you said six divided by three is two, right? Yeah. So I should be able to take this number, multiply it by two, and get five. So like two times, I was about to write pi for some reason, two times this question mark side should come out to be five. Yeah. And so that number would have to be 2.5. Oh, oh, again, I was trying to write pi. Oh, yeah. 2.5. Okay. That, that is the relationship between similar figures. Every correlated side needs to be just as many times as big 
as any other correlated side. So let, me, let me scale it down again. Scale it down even more. So if I take this guy, I copy it, I shrink it down until this long side here was one, how are we gonna figure out how long this short side is? Zero. This is zero? Mm -hmm. Why zero? Point five? I'll just mind to say oh. two point five. Negative point five. Point five. Negative point five. Minus two point five? Point five. No, minus point five. Well, the original shape. It's two. It is point five. It's point five. It is point five. It's one point two no, five. No, 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 it's point five. Could you take it is point five. You're saying it's point why are you saying point five? Because three went down by two. And then that last number was two point five and then that and then that went down by two. So it's point five. So we're not understanding. Could so take two point five divided by two. This side is this side's six. We scaled it down to the point that this side is three. Yeah. Which you said is half as much. Yeah. Half as much. Not three less, right? Not three less. It's not that it went down by three. Yeah. Oh, so you guys, Cody and, are you kidding me? Hold the footballs. Let's get ready to kick footballs at each other. Okay, so this, this guy. This one and this one, or are you comparing this one to this one? Those two. The smaller one and the even smaller yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. So this triangle, or sorry, rectangle, let me kind of take a lot. This rectangle is three times as big. So 2.5 So you're gonna take 2.5. We might as well write it there. We've already figured this out. 2.5. You should take 2.5 and do what with it to get this side? Divide by 3. Divide it by 3. Which is 8. <coughs> what is 2.5 divided by 3? 0.83 repeated. 0.83 <laughs> repeated. Okay. So these similar figures, they should be like all the correlated sides should be just as many times bigger as any other two correlated sides. So if, if these are similar figures, which means they're just shrunken down versions of the, the larger of the larger shape. If this side is twice as big, and these are the long sides, if the long side is twice as big as this long side, then the short side should also be twice as big as this short side. Okay. Or let's see, let's write this down a little more. 
out of shape, like a rectangle. Say this side is A, this side's B. And I take that rectangle and make a copy of it. Shrink it down. Call this side C and this side D. So follow me so far? All we've done is just draw a couple of rectangles and label the sides. So far, so good, right? Yeah. Okay. So in this, in this example, the smaller one had a long side of three, this one had a long side of six. And so we get two when we divide six by three. The long side divided by the long side gave us two. How else can we get to? Like what other relationship should come out to be two? Like six divided by three came out five to be Five divided by, wait, five divided by two. Five divided by two, two point, point five, five should also come out to be two. Right. So in similar figures, if I take, we call correlated sides, like A, divided by C. I'm taking A and C because what, what, what is similar about A and C? They're both on top. Okay, they're both on top, and, and since they're laying down in the exact same way, they're both the long sides. So A is the long side of the large one, C is the long side of the smaller one. So if I divide A by C, do you know what I should get? You divide A by C? Yeah, do you, like, do you know that that should come out to be two or three or four? No. We don't know. Because we don't know how much bigger that, that bigger one is than the smaller one. But we do know that if I divide A by C, I should get the same thing as when I divide B by D. B by D. The shorter sides. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see what this, this example. The long side six divided by the short side three. Six divided by three is two. And the, the short side divided by the smaller short side also the back. So that ratio should always be the same. Two to one, this, th this side and this side are two to one. This side and this side are two to one. It should always come out to be the same. I take this figure, which is like, it's not as nice as a rectangle, it's not, the angles aren't as easy to tell how big the angles are and all that kind of stuff. If I were to copy it, first of all, what would you say about these two figures? That green one and that copy I just made. One is smaller. Is it smaller? No. No, it's, con uh, I mean, let me show you what I did. If it looks smaller, it's, it's just a, probably an optical illusion. Because all I did was take this guy here, Copy it, move it over here. Congruent. Congruent, right? We're just learning some vocab here. So these two are congruent. That's weird. <laughs> Does it look like it's smaller? Yeah. yeah. It's one of those optical yeah. illusions. Have you seen those optical yeah. illusions before? Yeah. It's two identical that things, and one looks smaller table? than the other. But if I, if I put it back here, it's exactly the same. Well, let's, let's actually make it smaller. There's no arguing that this is now smaller than that, right? We'll color it differently. So this yellow one is smaller than this green one, but the yellow one is, the yellow one and the green one are what? Not congruent anymore. Not symmetrical, symmetrical is about the same as congruent, they're the same size. Um, still the same shape. Same shape. Okay. Well, these two are, since this is just a shrunken down version of that one, we call these two similar. Similar. Because they're not the same, 
but they're not altogether different. Okay? There are things that are the same about them. There are things that are relatable about them. Even though they're not exactly the same, they're similar. Let me ask you a question about like this angle right here. This angle right here. Obtuse. This angle right here. What would you say about those two angles? They're obtuse. No, they're similar. No. They're similar. Are they exactly they're the same? Obtuse. No. So I took I took this, I copied it, I shrunk it down and got this shape. So then is this angle smaller than this angle then? because it's a shrunken down version no. of the larger shape? Yes. You're saying no? no? Is it bigger? No, they're the same it's angle. Smaller. So now Brandon's saying that the angles are the same. They are. The same degrees. The same degrees. Yeah. What do you guys think? Are, there, are those two angles, do they have the same degrees? Yes. Mm -hmm. 180 would be a straight line, so maybe that one's like oh. 100. It's up to a hair past 90. Well, what? Since it is common to, to feel like that angle's smaller because we've, we've shrunken it down, it seems like it, maybe the angles would be less. I'm just going to take this guy, which is a shrunken down version of the larger one, and just lay it on top yes. like that. Yes. Was Brandon right? What do you think? Is Brandon right or is it an optical illusion? It's right. Yeah. And Brandon also thought that shape was smaller earlier. Right. Right? Right, yeah. yeah. There's hair everywhere. Well, he's got to be. What? You're not even Ew. talking about what we are. He's got to be right. Right. <laughs> Let's slide this angle over here. What about those two angles? Sorry. And these ones. So and those cool. ones. All the same. So. <coughs> Even though not everything is the same, the yeah. angles turn out to be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So similar figures, they don't have the same sides, but they have the same angles. All the angles are the same. Okay. That's something about similar Let's say this side is eight, and this side is four. What would you say about these two figures? It went down. They're clean moving. Down four. Does that mean like I subtracted four from this side and got four for this side? Is that how similar yeah. figures work? You go up by two. Two by two inches or by two times. Times by two times. This is two times bigger than that. So then can you tell me how long this side is? Does it matter? It's three. It's two. Oh, no, no, yeah, it doesn't it's matter. Two. Well, okay, we can make it up and we kind of, I guess the point is, we don't know and it, we couldn't say for sure. So do you want that to go in phone jail or? Let's not about to put it away. So we're, we would have to make it up. Okay, so what would you say? Brandon? Huh? Where'd you make up? Two. two. It's two. two times eight oh. So if that's two, then can we just make this up? Say this is like oh, three no. or something? Yeah. No. No, we have to find three. Yeah. Make it three. No, no. Make it three. Could this be three? Four. Could be. No, okay. No, it could be. No, because that side is bigger. Wait, would they have to equal or something? Well, they do have to. It's like, they do have to be kind of. Equal, but the word's not equal, it's similar. It's, it's got to be similar. Is it, so how long is this side? Is it four? Yeah. No. Why? Because, oh, um, because eight divided by two is four, and four divided by two is two. Oh, wait, eight divided by two is four? Oh, eight divided by, I see what you're saying. Not this two. Yeah, this is four. Let's make this three instead. Just make it up. So eight divided by two, divided by two, is four. Okay, so go ahead and continue your thought. And so, well, since that one's now three, it would have to be six. Six divided by two is three. So we have, we would have to take this this length, be able to divide it by two, and get three. And so the only number that works. Three. Six. 
Like this is the, I guess the top side. Maybe we'll call it the top side. I don't think it's the longest one. It's called the top. So since the top of this one and the top of this one, like this one's half as much as the, the top of that larger shape, this side would have to be half as big as this side. Right? So you get it? Yeah. Okay, so it's to scale up by the same factor every side. Let me ask you this question. Here's a, here's a bit of a unexpected thing. You give me a rectangle like this one that is three by five. Yeah. And I'm gonna kinda run out of room. I actually want to scale it up this time. Then take this, make it bigger. Right. First of all, before I write this number, what's the area of this shape. 15, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we're saying 15. There's something about, like, we need to count up 15 of something. So just reminding us what area is. What is there 15 of that inside this rectangle? Squares. squares. Yeah, 15 yeah. squares. Right? Three, like three rows, five columns. 15 squares. I thought that was a phone. No. Kind of a nice little tone to have in the phone. That was. That was. A movie. Yeah, it's a movie. Okay, so if this guy here was 10, if this side was 10, what do you think the area of this rectangle would be? Oh, uh, there is a rectangle, 30. And this guy is 5, this guy's 3, right? The area is 15. Say 60. Say 60. 30. 60. 15. Say 30. 60. You're 60, I hear 30. I say 30. Wait, what? Yeah, 60. I was trying to figure out which one was. Three times 30 is 30. Three times 30 is 15. Oh. Keep thinking about it. It's 60. It's 60. So let's start with this. Why might someone think the area of this rectangle is 30? Cody, because you're doubling that square. Hey, double the 5 to make 10, so I'd have double the 15 to make 30. 30. Oh, I thought he was saying yeah, double the 3 to make 30, and I was like, are you? It's not quite double. <laughs> so it seems like the, the rectangle, hey, it's twice as big, right? So like everything's twice as much, so the area is twice as much. But it turns out to be 60, which is how many times bigger than 15? A lot. It's four times bigger. Okay. If it was twice as big, then I could fit two of these inside here, which, I don't know, seems okay. It turns out we could fit four of them, which isn't surprising because half of this is five, right? Well, if, if, five, if I multiply five by two to get ten, then I could multiply three by two to get six, right? This side should be six. So there, you can see, it should be 60. And look what I can fit right here. How big is this little rectangle here? This says that. It's three by five. It's got an area of 15. And so does this one, and so does this one, and so does this one. We can actually fit four of those. So if I double the side length, it actually quadruples the area. Double the side length, four times as much area. It's kind of one of those counterintuitive things. Okay, so this side should be six. So if I want to figure out what the area is, I, could, uh, I can multiply that area by four. Or I could just say, well, this, this side has to be twice as big, uh, just like this one's twice as big, and then just find the area that way, so it's definitely 60. Let's talk about this. It's a shadow. It's a shadow? Shadow. Okay, good. Because the sun is shining, right? Just straight down here, so like, on this side, on this side, there's sunlight, right? But on this side, there's darkness. Darkness. The, the tree is blocking the sun, right? Right. Uh, so ultimately, what we're going to do is measure how tall this tree is. 
But we don't want to climb the tree and throw a tape measure down and climb back before. down and see how tall it is. But it's unnecessary. We can use similar figures, just like we've talked about, we've had like three examples of similar figures, right? This, this big rectangle, as far as like the, the lengths, the things you would measure with a ruler, are twice as big. So if I go from 5 to 10 on the long side, that's times 2. I have to take the short side and multiply by 2 to get the short side. So let's talk about this first. Do you see any figures that are similar, any shapes that are similar to each other here? The shadow and the tree. The shadow of the tree? Yes. And the tree itself? Yes. The shadow the tree. Actually, the oh, shadow you're looking at, bigger. you're seeing triangles. Yeah, the shadow is bigger. There's two of them, though. What triangles do you see? So, I see one, the man is blocking something, kind of like the end of a triangle type of deal. So, like, this is a triangle? Yeah. Right in there is, is one of the triangles. And then, if you added that to every, like, the bottom of it, then that's a triangle, too. So, this giant triangle here. Yeah. No. But not, we can't just stop there, right? It actually, it actually develops that a smaller triangle. Yeah. Are these triangles similar? Yes. How can you be so sure that they're similar? <laughs> Convince us that they're similar. The one is like exactly so many times bigger than the other one. <laughs> Cody? They have the same angle. How do you know? <laughs> because you don't know. I know because I don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah, they got the same line. The bottom line stays the same. And then the bottom line stays the same thing. So they, they, like this one is inside the other one. Like th this bottom right angle of the small one and the large one has to be the same because the small one is the same. Yeah, but what about what about this one and this one? Are they the same? Yep. Is that angle and that angle are they the same? Yep. How do you know? Because they're the same. Try so the guy is like another tree. He's smaller. So the guy is standing straight up. Yeah. The tree is standing straight up. Yeah. And so this straight line would have to make the same angle here. As it does there. If we could do that, if yeah, so maybe I could just take the uh, if I took this highlighter, moved it up there. Oh, same angle. And what angle is this down at the where the tree meets the ground? A right, a right angle. Ninety degrees. Ninety degrees. So these two triangles have the same angles, which means they are. Similar. 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 So, same angles. This is important. If I can prove two figures have the same angles, I can prove that they are similar. Similar. Which means the larger one, like every length of it, is the same times bigger as that same length on the smaller triangle. So tell me, what what I need to tell you about this smaller triangle? So that we can figure out how tall the tree was. The length of the angle. Sides. Good That's right. Which sides? That's right. The top and then the bottom and then the left. All the sides? Yeah. Let's talk about this side. Hey, we've got some, lots of time. No packing up necessary right now. And I'll keep you later if you keep wasting our time. So, this is the side of the small triangle, right? Which is also how is it related to the man in some way? Yeah. yeah. The tree is the man is yeah. the left side. Yeah. The man the is man that is side of that triangle. So what do I want to know about the man? Like how much he weighs how or what color his eyes are? How yeah. Want to know how tall he is? So let's call it. He's pretty short. To make it easy, let's call it five feet. Okay. Yeah. He's shorter than me. Now definitely, we know they're similar. So this tree is going to be like so many times bigger than this guy, yeah. right? It's going to be some times bigger. Do you know how many times bigger it is just because he's five feet? No. I need more. 
<laughs> what else do I need to measure? Size of the tree. The size of the tree? The That's what we're calculating. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to Yeah, guys, come on. Okay, now if we knew more trigonometry, which we know, if any, What's very that? little, uh, <laughs> then angles can help us. But just knowing that all the angles are the same is enough. We don't even have to know at all what the angles are, just that they're the same as each other. Okay? So, what's that? Well, that's what we're trying to calculate. Like, think about it realistically. It's, I can measure things that are small and that are on the ground. But if I, I would have to climb this tree. Let's avoid climbing the tree. Let's figure out how many times bigger this triangle is than the small triangle. We can just multiply five by whatever it takes. Yeah. So how do I figure out how many times bigger this big triangle is? You need to measure the bottom of the yellow triangle. Bottom of the yellow triangle. What is that? 90 degrees. I mean, what is that that I would actually be measuring in the real shadow? World? The shadow of who? The human. The human. The human. Shadow you know how long human. the shadow of the guy? Let's call it shadow human. eight. Shadow human. It's eight feet. Human. What? Is human. that enough now? Do I know what to multiply this by to get this big tree? Mm, yes. yes. No. Okay, what do I multiply it by? Five. Why? Boom. You, you know that this triangle is five times bigger than this triangle? No. We don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. What do we need to find out? What do we need to measure now? Triangle. Gold, yellow thing. This thing here? Yeah. How much space it fills up? Space oh. well, seems like a lot more than necessary. Like I can't. I could. I could stretch a tape from there to there. Sure. But if I just if I know that side of that triangle, does that tell me anything else about this triangle? It just tells me more about the yeah, small triangle. Then you can find the volume. And then I know the volume of the big triangle. No, the small triangle. I need you to triangle. Lunch is approaching. We know that the the vertical. And the horizontal part of this triangle, pay attention now, we want to know the vertical part of this triangle. So what part of this other triangle, this larger triangle, should we then try and figure out? The lower part. So what, are we, what would we be measuring in life? The whole thing. What object would I be measuring? The whole thing. How far is it from the tree in the triangle? What's at the end of the triangle? What? The, the human shadow. The shadow. So the human shadow and the tree shadow should meet up. Right? They are meeting right at that end. So we're measuring the shadow. So if I measure how tall a person is and their shadow, and the length of the shadow of the of the tree, okay, let's say that the tree is 56. Is that enough to tell me how tall the tree is? Yeah. Yeah. How are we going to do it? Because we're going to do it before we leave. Okay, 56 divided by 8, and then whatever that is, then you do that. Um, like what? Then you times by 5, and you get your answer. Times 7 by 5? Yeah. yeah. 35, right? So now we know this triangle is, is 7 times bigger, so we multiply by 7, and how tall is the tree? 35. What? 35. 35. All right, have a good weekend, everybody.